Hello everyone, this is Rob to the Rob Rob, and I'll be doing a one versus one between Lee here in the top left corner and player two down here in the bottom right corner, a Protoss. Alright, so we'll just get things happening right away. We've got Lee scouting across the map here, and we've got a bunch of things. Oh, now that's a tw uh, 12 pool. No gas yet, so he's not going to rush straight up to the Zergling speed. Meanwhile, player two is going pretty standard, gateway first. Computers love this build, I don't know why, it's a terrible build sometimes. They might as well just wall off with a forge fast expand or something, but you know, it can be a powerful build if you're going to be aggressive, and um, computers often like being aggressive. Straight into the cybernetics core, and a single zealot to start off with. All right, meanwhile, Lee hasn't yet built it. Ah, he's building his first Zerglings there, and he's streaming them across the map. And he's got his queen straight into the injections. All looking good so far, pretty tight. He's expanded! This is no longer a Zergling rush. No longer a Zergling rush. It's impossible to Zergling rush and expand at the same time. However, what's going on? Zealots are out. They're a very good counter to Zerglings in general. Now my computer is struggling. Struggling, computer! I have this issue with my computer where if, if it's not hot enough when I start, then I think it slows the clock, clock speed down in order to uh, try to avoid turning on the fan. And then after it gets too hot, it sort of accepts the fact that it has to turn on the fan and then it speeds back up again. Come on, three frames a second. <sighs> Struggles. It's This is terrible when I'm playing a game. I feel so sorry for my allies if I'm in a multiplayer game. I mean, look at this. Here we go. Oh, thank you, computer. 20 frames a second. Ah, we're almost back to a usable frame rate. Okay, a uh, bunch of Zerglings being built up here. Expansion is nearly ready to pop. And still no speed. Ah, he doesn't have the gas. He's about to have the gas now. He has the gas. Oh, well, that's an awesome. Now what he needs to do is take these drones out of gas and put them back on the minerals so he can have as many minerals for Zerglings as possible. Unless he wants to go up to a Roach Warren or something like that in the mid-game. Okay. Meanwhile, our computer just is being hyper-defensive and waiting for Lee to crush. I mean, probably Lee could win with the Zerglings that he has right now. I suppose this isn't the ultimate sort of timing for that. Although two Zealots would... Uh, yeah, no, I think Lee can win. This kind of army is just going to overwhelm now. I mean, look, economically, so far in advance... In, so far ahead. It's just pumping out Zerglings from two hatcheries now. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting counter-attack, actually. Deciding to attack from different uh, directions. Well, that could be interesting. You're probably going to lose this Overlord. But uh, it'll probably tell him where it is. And here we go. In the meantime, the Protoss is about to lose. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, probes. Oh, Computers fallen back. I normally find that they once they've decided to attack, they don't really attack. Oh, surround, surround. Oh, that could have been so good. But it's over. Lee has won. Let's speed this up and watch him uh, trash the whole place. No probes. Lee's on two bases. Economically speaking, the computer has lost. I mean, sure, these zealots are cleaning up the zerglings, but really, there's not enough zealots. I mean, two popped out just then, so... You know, that's good for the computer, but he has one probe. I mean, what, what, one probe. And 40 minerals. So if that probe went down, the computer would have been out 100%. Oh, nearly went down. Oh, look, a probe. But it <laughs> can't build a second probe with the second half of that chrono boost. So, yeah, this is over. Well and truly, these two probes go down. That's it. The computer can no longer produce any more units, so this is the total extent of the army that the computer can produce for this game. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the resource resources are coming in at 500 a minute for Lee, and so 
Oh god, I can't believe the computer was going out for an attack. Lee's going to trash more of his base. And it's all over. Once these are... Oh, actually, no... Nothing matters in this game except for this army because the computer cannot replenish it. So... As soon as Lee kills this army, it'll be over by definition. Here we go. Come on. Get him, get him, get him. I can't believe this guy hasn't GG'd yet. I mean, I know it's a computer, but GG detection needs to be a bit better than this. No units at all. And still hasn't GG'd. Well, I guess it'll be eliminated. Elimination time. Good stuff. That's the Zergling Rush. There's the GG.